I'll be going through the Barber and Cosmetology Top 10 Violations. These violations were compiled by inspectors doing unannounced visits. Number one, disinfectant not changed daily. This is where you have your barbicide jar solution, marvicide solution, your disinfecting solution. This solution should be changed daily. Number two, hair in many areas. Inspectors will come in and check your station, check behind garbage cans, under rugs, drawers of your station to see if there's hair there. Number three, poison not locked. Poison is any chemicals that's used in your salon or barbershop or spa. Chemicals should not be left in a bathroom unlocked or in a reception area unlocked. Those areas are public areas. Your station is a private area. In that area, you can have your chemicals unlocked. Chemicals should be kept locked or in a high enough elevation from small children. Number four, reusing disposable equipment. Re disposable equipment is your nail file, buffer, sponge, emery board. Anything that you cannot clean and disinfect should be disposed after each use. Number five, dirty workstations. Inspectors will come in and they will inspect your, your workstation. They will look at your workstation to see that it is clean and clear to sight and touch. They will look at it. They will rub their fingers across to see if they have any hair or debris to make sure it's clean and debris free. Number six, unlicensed practice. Inspectors will come in, check all license of everyone that's working. Unlicensed practice consists of anyone that do not have cosmetology, barber, aesthetics, nail tech license, or someone that have expired license. Number seven, dirty pedicure spas. Dirty pedicure spas should be cleaned after each use along with your, your sinks. It should be cleaned with soap and hot water and rinsed thoroughly and then disinfected with a disinfectant and allowed to air dry. Number eight, dirty contact equipment. Dirty contact equipment is any equipment that make contact with your client. Combs, brushes, hairpins, Blades, anything that make contact with your client should be cleaned with soap and water and disinfectant and allowed to air dry. It should go through the infection control procedures. Number nine, hair and trash not covered. Any hair and trash that's on the floor shall have a lid on it. In nail tech studios, barbershops, salons, we must have a lid on our garbage cans for it to be in compliance. Number 10, clean equipment not covered. Clean equipment is any equipment that you plan to use on your client that is sitting out before the service. This equipment should be covered or kept in a drawer until time for the service. Um, you should not have your equipment laid out before the service, 10, 15 minutes before your service. That is our top 10 violations for barber and cosmetology.